everybody i am back today with a tesco haul the shop came to i think it was 142 or 143 with delivery i haven't had a chance to check the receipt yet i just know the around about that came out of my bank um the freezers are still down in tesco in my area at the moment so i wasn't able to get a lot of frozen things but that's okay because i managed to get a lot of fresh things instead so i don't need to do a massive top-up shop just a few little things that we do need towards our meals um and i will pop my meal plan at the end as i always do so let's get to so it let's start with the fridge section we got two packets of these chicken thighs this was because i couldn't get any frozen ones i do prefer the frozen ones just because you know you might not use them in time before they go off and all that but i'm gonna pop these in the freezer and um, i got four packets of this bacon i think two are for meal plans and two are just for eating i got some salad tomatoes and a wafer thin cooked ham i've been saying for ages i haven't been able to get tomatoes on tesco and then i got them I got two packets of these British strawberries. These were substituted to me. I did order the 270 gram, I think they were, packs. And we substituted these, which the girls will be super happy about because they look really nice. And there's quite a few in both packets. Four packets of these cheese slices. I can't believe it's not butter. I ordered this and this big one kilogram one because last week we ran out. Uh, As they sent two 500 gram um tubs and it ran they ran out so fast compared to the one kilogram one so we had to go out twice not once twice so we used two kilograms of butter last week we did make a lot of mash and jack of potatoes and things so that is probably why but just so we don't have to go out twice to get more i ordered two this week i ordered clover and i can't believe it's not butter because joe likes both of those I got a chicken roll, which doesn't look very appetising. I mean, it doesn't ever, does it? But it just doesn't look... Yeah, it doesn't look really, really nice at all. Um, a coleslaw. A mozzarella. Two 5% fat steak mincers. A four pint of um, semi-skimmed milk. Lost my train of thought just then. And then these were substituted, these two smaller packets of chicken Dijon's. They were supposed to be one of these big packets. Well, there were supposed to be two of them, but they obviously didn't have a second packet, so they substituted me these. But there was an offer on for these. You got two of these big packets of chicken Dijon's, or you could pick anything. It was three for £10 um, and a medium whole chicken. So I got that offer. So that was good offer given that the chicken Dijon's were £4.95 each. So we got £15 worth of food for £10, which was great. And then we got a lettuce, three broccolis, which I do usually buy frozen. Um, I don't really like buying vegetables fresh because they tend to go off before I've cooked the meal or, you know, if we change our mind on the meal, it all goes off, doesn't it? So I'm going to blanch these up and put them in the freezer so they're just ready for cooking when we want them. Um, I don't really like keeping things fresh in the fridge because they do go off. I got the same two cauliflowers. Again, I'm going to do the same thing for them. And one pack of peppers. However, I'm sure there was meant to be three packets of peppers. I'm certain I did put three packets in um, because we are going to be having stuffed peppers one night. And that's obviously not going to do our size family. I got 15 loose carrots because they didn't have a packet. Um, these were 91 pay. I think there's 15 there. They might be 16. Um, again, I'm going to leave them in the fridge. Actually, I'm not going to blanch those up. I'm going to leave those ones in the fridge because they don't tend to go off as fast as what the others do. I do leave everything in the fridge, all the fruit and veg, because I don't like leaving it on my worktops. For one, there's not enough space. And for two, I don't like fruit flies. So I don't leave any fruit or veg on the worktops. Just a block of this mature cheddar cheese. And then in the freezer section, we literally got two packets of these pork sausages. There was nothing else that I buy available. There was no chips. There was no Yorkshire puddings, no chickens, no vegetables. Uh, I didn't bother to look at ice cream because we did only stock up over the weekend in the town centre. Um, so 
I'll have a little look at what I need and probably go back to the town centre when I'm out and about and get some more ice cream. But I didn't bother to look with everything else not being available. I assumed everything else wouldn't be available. So yeah, just two bags of sausages this week in the frozen section. For the cupboard section, we have three bags of these all round potatoes. That is because we intend on having a lot of mash and potato meals this week. Joe picked most of the meals, you can tell. He likes his potatoes, can't you? Four baking potatoes. These are literally because Nevaeh prefers jack of potatoes sometimes over some of the meals that we have. So she will have jack of potato or some like mash or something like that on nights where she doesn't like the meal that we are having. Um, so they're just like for her and for Renee because Renee likes jack of potato too and she's quite fussy about what meals we cook. I got some discos and some prawn crab tail sea brew and some cheese and onion so a lot less crisp than i'd usually buy and um, two packets of these tortillas they are for a meal plan we are having chicken caesar salad wraps tomato puree a gravy some white rolls a bag of brown onions i've got four breads Two of these toasty loaves, which are absolutely flattened because of the way I unpacked my shop and I didn't realise I'd thrown bags of potatoes on top of them. And two of these medium sliced whole meals. These are to just go in the toasty maker. They're nice and thin for that. I got a packet of these twirls for gel and four packets of toffee crisps for the other kids. They have one bar a day, which I know people will probably say that's a little too much, but they don't have sweets or anything else, so... That's what they have as their little treat. I got some chocolate biscuits because they haven't had these in stock for a while just to replenish the biscuit barrel. Some bourbon biscuits because they are Renee's absolute favourite and Renee hasn't been well at all this week. So she's just been eating what she actually likes. So I've been allowing it and she went through her whole packet of bourbons. And I got some custard creams because Jo enjoys these. I got a small raspberry Swiss roll for all of them, but Nevaeh really likes cake, so just so she can have a little small slice when everybody else is having a treat. She's got something too. And then we got two packets of pen pasta, a bag of this long grain rice, and this 1.5 kilogram of orange and mango juice, 10 packets of noodles, and down here we got this taco seasoning um i didn't get this one i got oh i can't remember what it was called but i got a different one anyway um it was definitely a different flavor than this this was substituted but that'll do it's only to season the mint and the rice that are going inside of the peppers anyway i got a garlic powder because we were all out a tin of tuna for inside of the jack of potatoes, a tin of beans for inside of the jack of potatoes, some sweet corn, two jars of this mayonnaise because we were all out because I made a garlic mayonnaise last week with one. Um, and then the other one got obviously used for other things, so we were all out of that. Um, I got two of these Caesar dressings because I want to recreate the new McDonald's wraps. Me and Joe and was it Renee? Yeah, it was Renee. Went to McDonald's one day last week when we were out and got one and they were really, really nice. However, I didn't feel like they had a lot of dressing in them. Now, the, the dressing is really fattening, which is probably probably why. Um, so I'm going to recreate them and try not to put too much dressing on it, but a little bit more than a tiny blob so you know you can actually taste it. Um, a washing up liquid and a toddler milk. Now, this is new. Nevaeh has still been on uh, first infant formula milk since birth. We tried to transition her to cow's milk and she didn't do very well with it. It upset her stomach a lot. Um, so I spoke with the health visitor and the health visitor said keep trying it and we had and it weren't working. So she said to keep it on it until she was 17 months. Now she has just turned 18 months so she should have been on this about a week and a half ago. But she has been unwell and I didn't want to unsettle her while she was unwell. So we are changing it to this one this week. Hopefully she does well with it and it doesn't mess up her sleeping and things like that. But she does need to change because this is better for her than the other one. I think the other one is like a complete source of food where this is like 
you know you have your food with it so she might eat a little bit better too i have a non-bio liquid detergent tesco dog food 40 tesco nappies because those ones from us they just wasn't wasn't great i mean they were better than morrison's nappies but they weren't as good as these tesco ones so i'll be making sure to keep stocked up on these i'll just buy a pack of every single week even when i don't need them just to make sure i'm stocked up um i got three of these zero sugar oh sugar free colas they are and some coca-cola zero for joe i got four bottles again to save us going out and about during the week to find bottles because our shop doesn't often stock it which means then we have to take like a 25 to 30 minute walk to the town center and then back just for bottles of coke so i've been sure i've bought four to do us quite a while and then i got some toilet tissue because if you've seen our last video that as the ones were horrendous um, that is it for the tesco haul i will add my meal planning just here like always i'm going to try and remember off the top of my head without it being there we're having stuffed peppers we are having chicken caesar salad wraps um chicken and bacon garlic pasta because that went down really well last week um and I can't remember the rest, so you'll have to read the rest off the list, but I really can't remember. And I think the only thing I need to top up with this week is a little extra fruit towards the end of the week because we still have a fridge full. Some giant Yorkshire puddings, some small Yorkshire puddings and some chips. And that is it. So we, I think we did really well. I feel like I got a lot from my shop this week compared to what we normally do. So I might take a turn and just get fresh from now on. But we'll see about that anyway hope you enjoyed it if you did please give us a huge thumbs up subscribe and click the notification bell we upload new videos every tuesday thursday and sunday see you again soon bye Six little